Good morning. Hallelujah. I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful just to be in the service of the Lord this morning. Praise and worship was simply amazing. Oh Hallelujah. Truly, we give him all the glory. Yes. Hallelujah. And we thank him for the wonderful things he has done and he's yet doing. Amen. <clears throat> glory to God. God bless you. Power and Glory Ministries and all of our viewers. Amen. And so watching us through social media. God bless you. That are on Facebook and YouTube watching, watching us. Amen. We're glad to have you in the midst of us this morning. Because truly we know that there is a word from the Lord. And I thank and I praise God because this morning our wonderful leader and apostle and the person of Dr. Chris Broomfield is going to share the word of life with you this morning. And I pray that it changes your life forever. Changes it in a way, amen, that you thought not possible. Receive ye the word of the Lord from Dr. Maurice Broomfield. Let's receive it with a hearty praise of God. Praise the Lord, everybody out there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Power Glory TV and Media Land. God bless you all. Glory to God. We thank God for our praise and worship. Hallelujah. Leader Ella Ron Lyles and our here. Yes, yes. They're on that wonderful keyboard over there. Yes. My God, I can play and sing like that. I'll be a one man game. Thank God for our pastor Sherry and to all my elders and ministers out there, to all the parishioners of power and glory, glory to God, and to uh, and, and for all of you that's on this snowy day. Yeah. And like John P. Key said about Chris, just another snowy day. It's just another snowy day. Ron got me wanting to sing. I don't know if I want to sing or preach today or talk, but we're going to do something in the Holy Ghost. But I, I, I just thank God for <clears throat> this golden opportunity yes. <clears throat> in the name yes, of the Lord. God. Yes, God. But before I get started, the Lord began to show me the enemy's arrows. Yes, my and I want to say to you Jesus. that God is blocking the arrows of Satan my in God. the name of Jesus. Yes. I saw the arrows of Satan been pointed at the saints. Yes. And the Lord want me to let you know today, in the name of Jesus, that the arrows of Satan yes. has been blocked because of his name, Satan. My God. Today, yes. you that have decided to give up, today, yes. you that decided to watch and hear Lord, the word of the Lord, you just protected yourself, yes. you protected your home. You protected yes. what you are and who you are in the name of yes. Jesus. And we take authority over it by the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we take authority yes. and we break the arrows of Satan yes. in Jesus' name. We command the angel of the living God to war a great warfare against anything that might be left in the quiver of Satan in the name of Jesus. And we thank God for his love and loose on our lives. We thank you for his protection. We thank you for his covering right now. Bless us now as we get into the word and teach you that. You better receive that. If you don't receive nothing now, you better receive that. When I tell you y'all are gonna speak and you'll be showing me stuff, you better receive it in Jesus. Name. That's if you want to be. That's if you want to be free. That's if you want the power of God to visit your home. In the name of Jesus. So receive that name in Jesus' name. around him. It can't get over him. It can't get under him. And you and I know more. It cannot go 
pray in Jesus' name. I got shit. I got so. You may give up a prayer. Take the shit. I got so.
and stop me. I thank you for his goodness today. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My son Ron over here, the Lord showed me that he, he, he God has taken his voice and used it to pierce the realm of darkness because of the heart, the purity of the heart. See, David was a pure worshiper. See, David didn't gamble with his worship. He got up on that rock and talked to God, man. God answered him. When he saw Goliath, that was worship talking. See, David was on a mandate to feed his brothers and go back. But he heard something was coming against that worship. That's right. He said, now that got to stop right there. That's so what God has given you the ability to pierce the ring of darkness. But you don't have to worry about the fight that comes behind that. Because if you look at it, was David ever harmed? David was never harmed. He's never harmed. <laughs> God always protected David. And a lot of people preach David, but no one pays attention that David was never harmed. Right. Glory to God. And when he could have done harm, he cried because he had to cut a piece of his king's garment. He said, I don't want to do this. Glory to God. And when he did sabotage his own self, he created Psalm 51. He said, God, never again. You don't have to worry about me going this way again. Glory to God. You've been too good to me. I got you. And if I can sing like brother, I'll hit that note. You've been so good to me. My words cannot express. Though I attempt to do my best, it leaves us searching for words. It leaves us inadequate. God. But the truth is, God. we have never felt like this before. Yes, Lord, and that's because of who he is. Yes. Yes. See, see, when much is forgiven, much is love. See, I love hard because God forgave me a whole lot of stuff. Oh and I'm so glad. And he chose to put his anointing on my life. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. You that's anointed and knowing what God has brought you from, you should be giving God a praise. Yeah, you should rejoice and know that there is a real God that's on our side. Glory to God. I'm great to get started with you, but I feel Woo! so good in the Holy Ghost. I feel the prophetic oil oh because oh that praise and worship started up. But I want y'all to know out there. The Lord is going to do exactly what He said. What He said, oh, I'm going to do. Don't fear, don't fret. They look tight, they look wrong, look half right. But know that you got a God that's going to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think, according to His power. So don't you, don't you fret nothing. Yes, God. Don't you worry about nothing. God's going to take care of His own. God's going to take care of his own. Glory to God. Today, the word that God has given me today is, I just want to further some things and, and just open your eyes up a little bit more. And um, the Lord began to deal with me um, last night, or really all week, but this morning as well. And, um, you know, it's, it's a thing that it's time out for foolishness and foolery. Yes. Amen. It's time to seek the holy face of God. Yes. Glory to God. It's time to seek his face on the way. Hallelujah. Holiness is right. Yes, because you know why it's right? Because he's holy. Yes. It's only right because he's holy. Amen. Be ye holy for I am holy, says the Lord. Yes. Not says the preacher, yes. says the Lord. God said he's holy. God said be holy because Glory to God, he's holy. And then he gave you the Holy Ghost. So you can't be it. So God didn't tell you to be something that he knew there was no ability within us to be it without giving us some help. That's why the word Holy Ghost is the Greek word paracletus, one that comes alongside. But the paracletus itself, it was the thing that was in the middle of the wheel that made the wheel rotate. Glory to God. So he's not just the paracletus that come alongside, but he's the very thing that makes it rotate. 
Glory to God. And, and you know why you got to rotate? Because power don't, power is nothing without, it's not moving. Dunamis have to move to get its effect. The word yes. dunamis or power from the Greek, the two yes. word exorcism and dunamis. The one dunamis, the only way you're going to get dunamis power, you have to be moving. My God. So Jesus is the paracletus that keeps us rotating so that the dunamis yes. power of God can move. Glory to God. That's why his dunamis power suppresses the exorcists of yes. the enemy. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Oh, we are him in, in, in the flesh with him. We're, we're here with Jesus. So his newness suppresses the exorcism of the enemy. Yeah. Glory to God. So we need to know that our God loves us tremendously and he has equipped us. Yes, he has. And all of us every now and then forget how equipped we are. Yeah. But once we shake that thing up and realize that we are equipped. Yes. Glory to God. Good we God are God. powerful creatures in the Holy Ghost. Yes, we are. Turn your Bibles with me. <clears throat> to the book of Luke yes. chapter 21 verses 28 through 30 um, is it 31 yes. through 31 and then also verse um, 36 yes, sir. glory to God I'm going to read these verses I'm going to give you our subject you probably can see it on the screen glory to God and uh, we're going to talk a little bit and pray that you be encouraged in the Holy Ghost and really pay attention today what God is saying in His Word. Glory to God yeah. to all of us in Jesus' name. Luke um, 21 and 28. It reads, And when these things began to come to pass, then look up, and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Yes. And he spake to them a parable. Behold, a fig tree, yes. and all the trees, uh -huh. when they now shoot forth, you see, ye see, and know of your own eye, your own selves. That summer is now nigh at hand. Okay. 31. Should that pastor read this? I'm so filled up. So likewise, ye, when ye see these things come to pass, uh -huh. know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Okay. Glory to God. Verse 36. Okay. Glory to God. Let me read this verse 36 in your hearing. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Watch ye therefore and pray Always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. I want to use for a subject this, this morning for a little while. Coming from 28, praise God, uh, verse 28. And when these things began to come to pass, then look up and lift up your hands, for your redemption draweth nigh. And I want to use one subject this morning for a little while. It has begun. Okay. It has begun. Begun power and glory. Yes. Visitors, media, land. It has begun. Yes, it has. What has begun? The process of elimination has begun. <laughs> okay. wow. 
Glory to God. It is fact now. It's totally set in motion. And has been set in motion, but for some reason the alarm has to be sound, sounded every so often. Mm -hmm. yes. Today I'm just sounding the alarm again. Amen. Amen. That um, your redemption draws now. The Lord is coming back. Just like he said he would. Yes, sir. My, my, my God. It behooves all of us <clears throat> to get it in order. Yes. The church gangs need to quit now. That's right. Yes, sir. If, if the pandemic didn't let you see they need to quit, That's then right. God help you when church open back up. Yes. The church gang got to quit. The manipulation and all the Weakness and excuses of flesh, it has to stop. That's right, yes. Because it has begun. The Lord told us in Matt and Luke 21. You know, this story starts off as the disciples asking Jesus a question about the temple. And he told them that um, there will, will not be one stone left upon another. That will not be cast down. But I'm finding out something about people. Jesus told them this prophecy that will begin or begun, praise God, this is what's going to take place. But he prophesied to them, but it took 70 years uh -huh. for that prophecy to come to pass. Okay. Right? It took 70 years, which means some of the disciples was now passed away, killed for his name's sake. And just maybe John was the only one left because it took 70 years, glory to God, to see the prophetic thing that Jesus spoke in to lead up to the end time. Mm -hmm. and, and I hope I'm doing all right with y'all out there. Man, you are. Yes, you are. One of the things he, he warned us of was the false teachings that was going to be on the earth. 21 uh -huh. and 8 of Luke. He's talking about take heed that you be not deceived. For many shall come and, and may, and, 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 and come in my name saying, I am the Christ. Mm. Right. And see, a lot of times people try to say, well, I don't know nobody said I am the Christ, but see, stay with me on this now. Uh -huh. Jesus is saying that anyone that will come, not only say that I am the Christ, but say I have the very doctrine of Christ that will lead the people astray. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. This is what's happening in our land right now as we speak. That's right. Yes, it is. Mm. Glory to God. Paul grabbed such a revelation, been the most evangelic of the apostles, mm -hmm. okay. and one and went into the most debt of the apostles. He said, "It's me or any other preach any other gospel than this what I preach." Uh huh. He said, "Let it be a curse." That's right. Wow. He said, "Maranatha, wow. for the Lord coming." My yes, God. Sir. He said, Maranatha, yeah. for the Lord is coming. That's right. Yes, Glory to God. And we are in this season where so many Hallelujah. are now starting to go after itching ears doctrine. Uh -huh. Things that makes them feel good. Yes. Need something to <clears throat> scratch <clears throat> the itch that's in them. Come on. The itch of compromise. Uh -huh, that's right. The itch that says you don't, it don't take all of that. The right. itch that says prophecy ain't real. The itch yes. that say, you know, apostles are not true today. The itch yes. that say God ain't moving like that today. So you itching ears doctrine that's out here now. That's yes, right. sir. That's scratching every itch that man's had. My God. The Bible told you that this was coming before his coming is here. Yes. He talked about wars and commotion. 
Glory to in verse 9. He talked about that. He talked about the wars. And look at the commotion that hit our country. Glory to God. Look what happened in the transitioning of power. And the commotion that took place. That word commotion there is an interesting word because it means instability. Mm -hmm. A state of disorder. It means disturbance and confusion. Well, if this I, was not, if I, this was not the I, White House on January the sixth, then I don't know when it was. Well, it was instability. Yes, it was. It was a state of disorder. Uh -huh. It was disturbance, and it brought confusion. Yes, it My God, yes, it. The did. Bible has this right here. Yeah, yes. over two thousand plus years. He told you about. The commotion. Yes. He said, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass. Uh -huh. But the end is not yet. Not yet, yet y'all. Then he talked about nation arising against nation. Uh -huh. And when this commotion hit, Pastor, and those who are listening, uh -huh. glory to God, Kim, glory to God, the, uh, uh, the president of North Korea, glory to God, he said, okay. Well, since the, the most powerful country in the world is at confusion, uh -huh. is at wrong transition of power, he rolls up with the Antichrist spirit of the, in him and said, okay, I'm going to take the United States. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Oh my God. It's opening up the door and setting it order. But we're not worried about them things because we got the Bible to protect us, That's not right. the United States. Well, Thank God that we on, live in the United States, but the Bible protects us. Glory yes, to God. Does. And thank God that he got men that's in position will hold true, My even God. if they don't confess him as Lord. Give me Bible preaching gladly. The Bible yes. said that yes, the does. king's heart, he said one that saved the Holy Ghost. He that's says the right. king's heart is in my hand, and I turn that heart whichever way I want it to go. Right. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Earthquakes in diverse places yeah. and glory to God. Famine is all over the place and now we in pestilent, pestilent glory. If you look up pestilent, according to standards now, you see the coronavirus. Fearful sights is happening. Yeah. You've got things that's coming from heaven. My God, my God. Persecution is hitting the church and glory to God. All kind of things. Hallelujah. God said, don't, don't, don't get disturbed by this. He said, this stuff must first happen. Yeah. He said, when they started arguing and fighting and fussing against you, God said, don't, don't go worry about your adversary. I'm going to put a mouth full of wisdom in you. Yeah. That the game shares won't be able to I'm resist. Glory yes. to God. Yes. He, he, don't get it. He said, parents, amen, glory to God. You will be betrayed by your parents and My your brother God. and your kin folks and your friends. The betrayal level is on all high. Yes, Everybody yes. looking for a Judas, but listen, we got to watch out for multiple, multitudes right. of people that got Judas spirit on Come them. On, oh. yes, yes. Because when you look at a Judas, then your brother might deceive you. Yes. When you're looking at a Judas, then your, your family might hurt you. When you're looking at an a Judas, then your kin folks might do you in. So glory to God. Uh -huh. And the Bible says, you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, for you that that decide to stand for what is right yeah. for the things of God. Come on. Hallelujah. You, you're gonna be hated. When you yes. stand for holiness, glory to God. When you stand for righteousness, you're Come gonna on. be hated. Glory to yes. God. You ain't trying to be a holy roller. You just trying to roll with God. That's right. Glory yes. to God. Hallelujah. You a holy roller? No, I ain't a holy roller. I'm just trying to roll with him who had the holiness rolling with him. Come on. That's all Come I'm trying on. to do. Come on. Glory to God. And what we don't understand is that it takes God to give us all of this. And the Bible said in your patience, it's going to possess your soul. Glory to God. He gives warning yeah. to his people. He tells them, glory to God. He tells them one thing after the next. And then here's one of the most crucial things when I'm starting to see because Corona did this right here. Mm -hmm. The verse 26 and, and Luke 20, 21 and 26, it said men's hearts fell in them for the Corona. Come on. Oops. Yes. Read it right. Men's hearts fell in them for fear. Yes. Watch this. And looking after the things which is coming upon the earth. Yes. For the power of heaven shall be shaken. 
Look at this thing. If this ain't so prophetic, glory to God, men's hearts are failing them for looking. You hear me, elder? Yes, for looking at the things that's coming up on the earth. My I have God. never seen so many freight Fearful people. Yes. Corona oh, has shook the church world up. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. People are afraid. People are scared. People are dying. Glory to God. Yeah. Your Bible told you right here. Men's hearts are failing them. Mm. And you know why? You know why your heart fails you? It's because you have not put your trust in who you're confessing. All right. Wow. Glory to God. See, you, you got a confession, but then when it's time to be tested, and then you find out your confession don't match, match the test. Huh? And it fails. Come on. Well, Glory to God. Men's God. heart is failing them. Because what they confess, it seemed like the great thing to do. But when it actually presented to them, Come it on. failed them because of fear. Fear paralyzes the spirit of God in your life. Fear stops and have drawback. The Bible tells you and I, if any man draw up and back, my spirit will have no pleasure in this. That's right. Glory yes. to God. But then we get to our, our scriptures, and I'm about to close out right here. I'm said enough to you. 28, it said, and, and when these things begin to come to pass, they are here now. It has begun. Yes, it has. Corona is here. Men's yes. hearts has failed them is here. Pestilence is in the land is here. What you mean? Watch this. Corona has evolved into another disease. Oh, yes, Glory yes. to God. Has a, in, what do you have to pronounce? Involved and evolved into another disease. Yes, now, sir. Corona is one thing, but from there it has come another one. This yes, is sir. pestilence. Yeah. The Bible tells you and I in Psalms 90 and 91, it talks about the pestilence. But guess what? The Bible said it won't come nigh us. But that's only if you trust and put that oh. blood on the doorposts like they're supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. Glory yeah. to come. Hallelujah. God, God tell Moses. He said, anoint your doorpost and then I'll let the death things to pass you by. Right. Yes, Glory to God. God. But you have God. to see these things because prophecy must be fulfilled. Yes. And the Bible tells us that these, when these things come to pass, then look up. Uh, yeah. Lift up your head for your redemption draweth nigh. Your yes. salvation is closer than it ever has been. Your God is closer than he's ever been. Yes, the sir. ending, the end time is closer than it ever been. Yes. No man knows the date or the time when the Son of Man is coming. If anybody got a date, they false. That's right. If anybody got a month, they false. Yes. Anybody got a time, it false. That's right. The Bible is giving you signs when it's here. And the signs are here. It has begun, everybody. Yes. This thing has started and it's on, it's rolling. So what do we do while we wait? While we wait on this, uh, keep your life continued. Keep educating your kids. Keep loving your wife. Keep loving your family. Keep living. Keep going to work. But every move that you make as a believer, glory to God, make sure you're redeemed. Make sure you draw closer to Come him. Make sure you keep your life lined up with him. Yes. Glory to God. Lord, I'm working, but I know you're on your way back. Yes. God, I'm, I'm raising my kids, but I yes. know you're on your way back. Yes. I'm going to keep planning my marriage and my wedding, and I'm going to get married, but I know you're on your yes. way back. Okay. I'm going to get married. I'm going to have kids and live in a, in a, a picket white fence house, but I know you on your way back. Come on. God, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be a millionaire. Yes. I'm going to be a billionaire, but I know you on your way back. Don't yeah. let nothing that you're involved with, don't let nothing that you have plans to do stop you from knowing that he's on the way back. Don't get so comfortable with living with what you got and yeah. forget that you got to go to sleep. Yeah, you got to close your eyes. Yeah, if the sir. rapture don't come and get you first, we all will close our eyes. And I'm telling you, so don't forget your redemption draw nine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yes. It be upon it. It has begun. Yes, sir. He said the signs, he said, when you see a fig tree in all trees, he said, when you see them shoot forth and, and you start to see little green things on them, guess what you say? You don't say it's spring. You say it's summer. See, spring is what it is spring. Spring brings things forth. Right. Glory to God. Yeah. But summer brings things out. 
Come on. Come on. Spring brings things forth. Yeah. But summer brings them out. Yes. Notice what Jesus said in verse 30. And when you said shoot uh, now, shoot forth, and you says no of, of yourself, that summer, not spring, summer is nigh at hand. Summer, the thing that comes out. Now they are out. Glory to God. Yes. It has begun, y'all. Glory. Spring springs them forward. Summer brings things out. Yes. Glory to God. You don't eat spring apples. That's you don't right. eat spring fruit. You don't eat spring stuff. That's you right. eat summer stuff. That's you right, eat, you eat what summer has developed. Yeah. Summer developed the fruit, not spring. Yeah. Summer developed that apple, that orange, those cherry, those grapes. Yeah. Summertime. You don't you don't swim in the spring. You swim in the summer. Yes. Yes. Summertime oh. brings things out. <laughs> Glory to God. You so now it's summertime. Yes. Things oh, are brought yeah. out. Glory to God. Out. Glory to God. And he said in verse 31. So likewise, when you see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. My whole point of this message today. Glory to God. Not to show how well I can preach on how much Greek and Hebrew I know. Come on, My God. whole point of this message today is verse 31. To let you know that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Uh -huh. It's close, y'all. Yes, Glory to God. You know, I took a trip recently. My wife and my son and my, my daughter. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You said, Pastor, you got no daughter. My daughter-in-law, she's right. my daughter. Amen. Right. Yeah. I got to say in-law for you that don't understand, but I don't call her my daughter-in-law. Right. Uh -huh. My daughter. Yeah. Yeah. I treat yeah. her like that as well. You understand? Right. You understand now? But but we all on this trip, glory to God, and the trip was tedious. It was long. But yeah. what we was looking at kind of eased the, the, the tension of the lengthy drive. <clears throat> but watch this. Yeah. I'm trying to help three people <clears throat> to understand that the kingdom draws nigh. Watch Come on. Come on. We're driving and it's, it's restless and we have to pull over and get gas and take bathroom breaks and, you know, we're looking around, we want a snack and, yeah. you know, oh God, we're resting and go over to God. But I noticed something in the car. What did you do? And what that I noticed, son, was that when we saw the destination 50 the miles away. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Everybody uh -huh. in the car packed dirt. Like we packed up. Hey. We started packing up the stuff Build in your the house, car. Reverend. Glory to God. We started packing up the stuff in the car. Yes, yes. Because I rewatched this. I watched this. Our kingdom or where we, our destination. It was drawing nigh. My we were hey. fixing ourselves up. Glory to God. Oh, yeah. We started picking. We started wiping our mouths off on the tater chip. Right. Dusting ourselves off from yeah, the stuff yeah. that fell on our clothes. Because we know we're at our destination. Yeah. Now and glory to the friend. I need you to dust yourself off. Yeah. Your destination is out on for you. And you're rolling at 80 miles an hour. So you know it's not going to be long before you eat up that 50 miles. You only got a short time. Yeah. You only got a short time. I'm not going to do this with my sons in here. Hallelujah. Yeah. They try to make me preach. In the yeah. But here at the last point. This is my last point. And I'm closing out with this. Right. So we started dusting off, right? But watch this. Here go the good part. Verse 36. So watch ye therefore and pray always that ye might be accounted worthy. You know what? Now, can I help three people? No, no, no. So we ride and we dust ourselves off. Yeah. So because everything was in my name, my God. I began to check and make sure I was worthy for the hotel. My God. I began to check and make sure the email was lined up right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I began to check and make sure I didn't leave my credit card or my license. All right. yes, sir. Yes. Because I want to be counted worthy yes. when I get to my destination. Yes. Some of you might need to check your emails and make sure they lined up right. Some of you might need to check the 
your wallet and make sure you got your license and your credit cards. Some of you might need to check and make sure everything lined up. Because guess what? Your ship is just about to land. And when you get off, you don't want to be denied of the room that you thought that you had booked. Because really, when you get to your destination, you are tired. That's why the Bible tells you and I that once we get there, we said take a rest. Because you are so tired. He said, said that you may be accounted worthy to escape all the things. Watch this for no for everyone that shall come to pass. Uh -huh. yeah. Jesus said, I don't care if you don't believe. Jesus said, I don't care if you don't put your trust in my word. When I spoke out my mouth, shall come to pass. Uh -huh. Right. Yes, me by the words that go forth out of my mouth shall not return back to me for, but it shall accomplish yeah. that what I sent it to do. My and these God. things shall come to pass. And my stand God. and make sure you be able to stand before the Son of Man. Yeah. Power and glory, visit them, friends. Yeah. It has begun. Yeah. Yeah. It has begun. It has begun. Your redemption is nigh you. Please, ma'am, sir, don't get caught up in so much what you're doing. And I know a lot of you are absent from the video, and that's okay. I hope that while you're absent, you are tuned into your God. That's right. Wow, well, well. I might bore you, uh -huh. but you better not get bored with your God. That's right. okay. I might not be the type of flavor you want to hear, but you better get another flavor when it comes to God. I might not be the man, I might not look dressed or sound like the way you want it done, but you better get in line up with your God. Yes. Because He is coming back yes. just like He said He would. Like Maranatha, for the Lord is coming. Yes, he is. Maranatha, for the Lord is coming. Before I get off this, I want to pray for you that want salvation. Because right now, salvation is the point right now. Yes, if you need Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, I want you to pay attention. I'm going to have my son to sing. And your heart should be conditioned to be ready. Then I'm going to come back and pray salvation prayer. And why are we preparing for you that know Jesus? Prepare yourself for tithes and offering. But I'm going to have my son to sing. And then I'm going to come back and pray salvation prayer for those who want Jesus. And we're going to be off the ball because I love you. It's in the hands of my son. Bless you, baby. Oh, yeah. Can't you see the signs of the time? Don't you know that the time is short? So the Lord, He will return. 
faithful in blessing way for you. Please continue to be faithful in your giving power and glory. That's why this church is still there because you are faithful in your time and in your offering. Good to you again. I love you. We'll see you Wednesday. We have another good teaching for your Wednesday. God bless you. Have a smile upon you. We love you. Pastor Sherry says she loves you. God bless you. God bless you.